Hey guys, didn't see you there. Today I'm actually gonna be tasting soy sauce with my balls. So I recently decided to give up Instagram, you know, in order to find myself, maybe meditate a bit more, only to discover TikTok now fully addicted to TikTok. Sorry, Daddy Zuckerberg. Recently, this TikTok has started to go viral where people are saying that they can taste with their testicles. <laughs> okay, so we heard that balls have taste buds. All right, so if you've been anywhere on TikTok today, you've probably seen the thing about your balls having taste buds. According to my understanding of science and physiology, I do not think that this is possible, but every TikTok that plays, they continually end by them going, oh my God, I can taste it. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I dead ass thought this was just to make people put food on their balls, bro, but I'm not even capping. So today I'm gonna try this test, and then I'm going to do the research to get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna make this video fast, back there. I've actually paid almost $80 for three different journal articles. Every time I pay for a journal article, I picture a scientist somewhere getting like an alert, being like, wait, Someone bought my article, why? <laughs> I'm actually just gonna play the TikTok of me doing this so that I don't have to dip my balls in soy sauce more than once. Okay, so all over TikTok, people are saying that you can taste with your balls, also known as your testes. <laughs> and I've been doing research, and according to science and the neurology of your balls, you should not be able to taste, but everyone is saying that you can. So I'm gonna taste soy sauce with my balls on <laughs> sec. Okay, so immediately one thing I'll say is that I can smell it, which I think maybe some people might be smelling it and perceiving it as tasting in their mouth. But here we go. <laughs> I can't believe my mouths are in soy sauce. Okay, you cannot taste it. This is BS. They made me put my balls in soy sauce. You can't taste it. You really can't. Almost done all of these articles and I realize I need to do it again because I need to do it with something sweet. <laughs> Honestly, science is so fascinating and the fact that we know this much detail about what I'm about to describe to you is incredible. So anything that you put into your mouth, which is also known as your oral cavity, that's gonna be my new pickup line. Be like, um, can I make out with your oral cavity? <laughs> Although I guess I've never said, can I make out with your mouth? Any food or object that you put into your oral cavity is actually detected by taste receptor cells. And an aggregate of these make up what is known as a taste bud. Ow, that hurt, taste bud. Okay, so this is a taste bud. The scientists like to say that they look like onions. Personally, I think they kind of look like a vagina. It honestly looks like the ad for the new pseudoscience show goop. So about 50 to 100 different cells make up this taste bud. And there are four types of taste buds and they have really complex scientific names like type one, type two, type three, and type four. <laughs> Whoops, the mic's in it. New year, new me. Uh, this year, I, my new goal is to make sure the mic's in every shot. What I think is so cool is that we've literally evolved these complex tongues. The type three taste bud has evolved to detect sour. Usually sour means that something isn't good to eat, it's food that's gone rotten, and we've evolved this trait to not get sick. And sweet usually means a high caloric intake. And me, I like some calories. And so do you, actually all humans do. It's really important, it's what we need to live. Okay, so this is where we are getting to the point that things are definitely being overblown on TikTok. The article that they're quoting from is from the Daily Mail. But they are kind of onto something. Genes encoding taste-related molecules that transduce the bitter, the sweet, and the umami flavoring have been found in your sperm, which is encased in your body. So one thing that happened is when I posted this video on TikTok, immediately people started to look at it, laugh at it, the usual thing. But some people were saying, nah, -uh -uh, you have to do something sweet. So if you guys will let me, I'm actually gonna put my balls into a new substance. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So everyone in the comments is saying that I need to be dipping my balls in something sweet in order for it to be accurate if they can taste it or not. To that, I just wanna say you're all freaks. Is this gonna get flagged? I feel like you're never gonna see this because of the algorithm. <gasps> see those wet marks? That's proof I did it. Proof is in the pudding, babe. Stop flirting with me, get out of the shot. Oh my God, stop it. We'll talk about it later, stop. Oh my God, I'm trying to work. Stop, we'll talk after, stop it. No, seriously, stop it. So I was just cleaning up this mess uh, with this Coke 
off to the side. If you see, some has been drank from it. Yeah, that's because I took a big old swig. You know, your brain's a very interesting, beautifully evolved organ, but sometimes slips up. <laughs> so I could not taste anything with the outside layer of the skin of my balls. Um, you know, actually the outside of all of our layers of skin is fully dead, uh, which is interesting because now I know that I'm dead both inside and out. But yep, the dead epidermis uh, and skin of my genitals was not able to pick up any taste uh, of the sugar from the molecules that I put onto my ball sack. That makes full sense based on the physiology that I know about skin, about my testicles, and about neurons. But, and where this all came from is that there are genes that code for molecules involved with taste in your sperm. They are molecules that have to do with the type to taste buds. That's why people are saying that, yes, it has to be sweet. But these taste buds do not exist in or on your balls. <laughs> but molecules and G proteins that are involved in taste are on your sperm. We don't exactly know why sperm has the ability to use these taste molecules, but one thing we think is that it's a way for it to use chemoreception, that is reception through chemicals, kind of what your tongue does, to actually scope out and find the egg. You guys probably think I'm disgusting at this point. Okay, I need to end this video. If you made it this far, me and my two little friends, thank you. We will see you next week for probably a more mature video. Peace.